Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create HDR images with night shots. So we've got three photos right here. So this one here it's minus two exposure compensation and this is with plus two exposure compensation. And uh, obviously we want to create a nice HDR so we get the best of both worlds in terms of details because as you can see not much detail and uh, there's some more details in here but first thing let's take it to HDR Pro so we select these three images and we go to tool Photoshop merge to HDR Pro or if you're coming from Photoshop uh, you just go to file automate and HDR Pro and you just get a small window that will give you the option to select the photos from certain folder where you put them basically and uh, now Photoshop is just putting everything together and uh, there you go well most of you have seen like the 16-bit version of this new window like the HDR Pro window and there's lots of sliders you, you can do really cool stuff uh, and sometimes not so cool stuff but let's keep it simple let's go to 32 bit uh, this was shot in a tripod however there's lo lots of people so I want to select uh, remove ghosts and I want to select uh, which frame shall I use from so probably probably I'll stick with this one and now I just want to do a fine adjustment right here and I want to make the image overall slightly darker just a touch something like so okay there you go so I'm basically like at the end point of the black right here so I'll click OK and we're done from this box now we're going back to Photoshop and then we're going to do something which is save this file so just creating the HDR there we go and it doesn't look very good I know I know but let's go to file save as I'm going to save on desktop tutorial and I'm going to save it as a TIFF file there you go dot TIFF I'll click save and gives me these options obviously I want in 32 bit and I'm going to just leave this as it is I'll click OK it's done and I'll close it so now we have it here in that same folder and as you can see we can just click open in camera raw and we have a much more detailed compared to the other ones um, so let's just bring down probably a bit exposure add some con contrast lots of clarity too much clarity actually something like so we can bring down the whites if we want the highlights as well and just a hint of vibrance yeah I'm happy with this and I'll open the image and any second now bear in mind TIFF files are bigger and uh, I'm also recording so it takes a bit of time so now what we want to do here to finish it off this image is we can come here just an idea use the polygonal lasso tool can we select this like so this is just an idea it's your it's up to you and I'm holding shift so I get to add another selection to the other selection and I'm going to hold shift click once let go of shift so something like so 
okay now we can add some levels as you can see so it's not as bright I think it looks a bit better as you can see before and after and obviously we can adjust a bit more if we want and we can do the same two other areas we may like <clears throat> I tried to position myself so this wouldn't be in the frame however I couldn't there was another one just right here so you can just do something in here or just keep it simple and just probably crop it a bit it doesn't look too bad but there you go as you can see compared to the other ones before we have lots of detail in every everywhere we can actually see National Gallery welcome we've got lots of detail right here lots of detail right here on the top and as you can see we even can see the camera CCTV but the important thing is we got both of both worlds in terms of details obviously this was a long exposure so the flag it's it's not brilliant so in this case I'll, I'll just go create a new layer grab my clone stem tool go like so sample all layers obviously something like so and clone it and get rid of it obviously I'm going to make it bigger so it's quicker one click okay. don't do it uh, as fast as me because it's not 100% but you get the idea and uh, obviously you can clone these sort of things it's up to you but there you go an HDR image done at night time Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.